so now I'll explain you props in react right now I have created these three components uh, and added these components in the form of layers second component within the first and third within the second now I want to use props props basically send data dynamically or at the runtime and any component from these will accept that data at runtime and print that out with respect to this uh, element that we are using for printing the data so I'm going to remove the third one let's remove this one and I'm going to send out the data from this component to this second component so that uh, that data will be printed within this second component so in order to send that data from here I'm going to use a uh, any kind of variable I'm going to call it a person equals to my name and let's save this file and right now let's click on right here and right here I'm going to receive that data that is being sent from this first component so in order to receive that data first of all I need to identify that what element I want to print this data so I uh, let's say I want to use h3 and I will use the curly braces within this curly braces I will use this dot and I will use props props is a built-in a variable and this props will receive the variables that are being sent from here so props will contain this person so I will write dot person so let's save this file and first component needs to be printed after that the, uh, the second component needs to be printed and this data is should be printed so so let's go to our browser and I will use localhost 8080 so you can see first component second component and the data has been printed on our browser so there are different variations that we can work with the props let's say I want to use an array of data and that data will be sent from this component to this component and that array of data will be printed so within the first component just above this render function I will use a constructor function and within this constructor function I'm going to add the data so this array is going to contain all the objects let's say this object and I'm going to call name let's save this object and I'm going to paste it two more times all right so that's been done within this constructor actually this constructor function needs to call its parent constructor so I will use a super function so that it should call a super constructor function for it to be worked within this first component so I have defined this data and now let's come to our render function of this first component and within the render function I need to send out this data one by one so I'm going to remove the h1 from the second component and from the first component I will remove this one as well and from here I will use the ECMA script to iterate through all the objects of this array so I will use this dot data dot map and it's going to take out a person and an index and after that I will use the ECMA script syntax and after that I will use and call the second component and within the second component I will send out that data so I will call a person equals to within the curly braces I will send out a person so what's going on right here it's going to iterate through this statement is going 
to iterate through this data array and this person is going to contain the individual object from this array first it will have this object second it will have this object and each time it's going to call that second component and send out this person object that is coming from here within this person variable this is a different variable this person and this person are same I'm not using this index we can also send out this index if you want to print the index so now we need to accept this variable uh, within this second component so I have already uh, printed out this dot props dot person that is this variable but this variable is containing the whole object so I need to use the name to print out the actual name so I will write this dot props dot person dot name so let's save this file and let's go to our browser and you can see the first component has been printed and one by one all the data has been printed of that data array so this is how we can send out data dynamically from one component into another component uh, we can pass out any kind of data whether it's a nested objects array objects or any kind of data and we can send out uh, the data in this way so that's for it for this video make sure you subscribe my channel next I'll talk about states